This is the plaintiff, Angel Guzman. He says the defendant kidnapped his adorable little Shih Tzu, Maxi, a dog he just spent over two grand on at the vet, and she won't give him back. She has no right keeping his dog from him, is refusing to return him or even bring him to court, and that's why he's suing her for $3,000, the amount he spent at the vet, and for 13 months of grooming costs. This is the defendant, Damaris Damien. She says the plaintiff's pit bull attacked poor little Maxi, and the plaintiff begged her to take the dog once he was healed so the pit bull couldn't attack him again. She even added Maxi onto her pet insurance and cares for him better than the plaintiff ever did. Bottom line, the plaintiff gave her the dog. He's just mad she has a girlfriend now, is jealous, and that's the only reason he's suing. She's accused of being a dog napper. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome in. Angel Guzman. Yes, ma'am. You are suing Damaris Damien. Yes, ma'am. For three thousand uh, dollars in vet bills and grooming fees for a dog that she was holding for you and she refuses to return. Yes. Tell me what happened here. Um. May of 2014, my pit bull actually attacked my Shih Tzu. Okay. Over his girlfriend. Over what? The pit bull's girlfriend. Meaning what? Meaning he had puppies with another dog. Right. And then what happened with the Shih Tzu? Uh, the Shih Tzu went to go smell the other dog, and okay. my pit bull got jealous. And okay. Well, I don't know. Really call it jealousy. It might be more protective <laughs> or whatever, but um, I don't think it's that sophisticated because they're dogs. But so it attacked this Shih Tzu, and what happened to the Shih Tzu as a result? Um, broke his jaw on the left side. Um, had to get surgery, emergency <sighs> surgery. Okay. Uh, that night. Okay. Um, Who paid for the surgery? I did. All right. How much was the surgery? The surgery was twenty, about twenty six hundred dollars. Okay. And then what happened? Um, me and Damien Damaris went to... How did you two know each other? We're neighbors. Okay. And were you good friends? Yes. We actually went to Dominican Republic that next morning together. After the attack on the Shih Tzu? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just friends? Just, just friends. friends. Okay. Who took care of the Shih Tzu um, after while you that, guys were in the Dominican Republic? Her girlfriend. Okay. And... What happens after you return from the Dominican Republic? I had puppies. Ten well, you didn't have puppies. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so there were puppies. Well, there were puppies there, there beforehand, ten, right? No. Uh, she when was, the attack happened, there weren't puppies. She was pregnant at the when time. When the attack happened, there weren't puppies. No. The the mother of the uh, the pit bull mother was actually pregnant at the time. Okay. All right. Yeah. So where is the Shih Tzu day one that you come home from the Dominican Republic? Day one. With her girlfriend. Okay, so after the attack, the Shih Tzu doesn't go back to your house? No, go ahead. All right, so now, her girlfriend, does her girlfriend live with her? Uh, at this moment now, yes. But not then? No. So the dog was physically at another location? Yes. All right, so your dog, your pit bull has puppies? 10. 10 pit bulls. You have 10 pit bulls. 12, 12 in total. total. 12 pit bulls total. Jeez. <laughs> Tell me about it, in a one bedroom apartment. Why? Did you sell them? Yes. Uh, did you get good money? Decent. All right. That's why. Mm -hmm. All right. So what was the arrangement that you had with her um, girlfriend regarding... I actually had the arrangement with Damaris, not her girlfriend. The okay. only reason why her girlfriend had the dog is because we both was in Dominican Republic for about two weeks. And then, when, well, where did the dog end up? Back when, to her house. Oh, to Damaris's yes. house. Oh, right Across next door. Across the hall, yes. Okay. So how long is the dog with you? The dog has been with me um, probably about a year and a half, maybe a little more. Well, because the dog used to visit, you know, because I have a Boston Terrier. Okay. So, and the Shih Tzu's small and my Boston Terrier is small. So what happened was I moved in in November, okay. right, of 2013. So we, slowly after that, we became real good friends. Like one day he was like, oh, don't, worry, don't mind my dogs barking. And I was like, no, no problem. I got dogs too. We started talking. Turns out his birthday is a week before mine. Like at the beginning of the week, mine is at the end. We're both Virgos. We clicked. We started hanging out. We got a lot in common. Me and him, he started telling me how he had never been out the country. And I was like, well, I got to go see my dad in Dominican Republic, you know. 
So I was like, you know, why don't we go to Dominican Republic, you know? But and then, what um, was the agreement that you had with him regarding this dog after the attack? See, that's the thing. After the attack, to me, there was really no agreement because I never really, the dog just came back home with me. And that was it. Like, I took it as he just came back home oh, with me. Oh, there must have been some conversation. The night of the attack, it was him and my girlfriend, Natasha, that were talking, like, you know, and he asked me, he was like, you know, when we were on our way to Dominican Republic, he did say, he was like, you know, when we come back, are you going to be able to take care of Maxie, you know? And I was like, of course, no problem. Like, I, it was... In my mind, Maxie was always coming back to me anyways because, you know, he just got attacked by the pit bull in the house. Well, but how can your mind be that someone's giving you a shih tzu without the person saying, I'm giving you a shih tzu? In well, your mind, she was taking care of the shih tzu. Helping me out until I got rid of the, the All right, puppies. and was that in your mind or is that what you actually discussed? That's actually what I told her. So the idea was that she would take care of them until you got all of the puppies sold? Yes. And it ended up taking a year for you to get the puppies sold? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, no, because what happened was was the puppies weren't even born yet. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the puppies came in September. The uh, attack no, happened in May. The puppies actually was born July 11th. When do you first say, hey, puppies are out, I want my dog back? Uh, around second, third week of January 2015. So It uh, took me a long time to get rid of all the puppies. I but mean, that's about six months, you're saying, then? Seven months? Yeah. It's like eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you ask for the dog back, what does she say? Uh, it was blatantly ignored. New conversation got started multiple times. Why don't you just go grab the dog? It's your dog. Um, I, no, I mean, when you're in her, I assume you're still friends I, and you were at her apartment and stuff like that, or had yeah. there been a falling out? No, it wasn't a falling out yet. It wasn't a falling out until October. What, what was the reason for the falling out? Uh, I went to the house and picked up the Shih Tzu and brought it to my house. And then what happened? She came back, knocked on the door, asked Maxie, you want to go outside? And he left with her. And she... <laughs> it wasn't like that. It wasn't. It... Yeah. <laughs> no, like prior to October, he would mention, he would be like, oh, you know, we got to wean Maxie back into my house. And what would you say when he would say that? When he, I wouldn't say anything. <laughs> After she takes the dog back, oh, come on, Shih Tzu. What's the Shih Tzu's name? Maxie. Maxie, Maxie follow me. Uh, like, don't you, like, stop Maxie? For, like, what is, this is I, so awkward. What it is is Max loves females. So he got really attached to her and her girlfriend. So, so you felt bad. Uh, I completely felt bad. You know, my dog didn't even like me. <laughs> <laughs> I would so, call him, he'll go to the cage, he wouldn't even come to me. But you feel like she stole your property, because yes. as much as we love our dogs, the dogs are still property. Yes. And you are suing for her to reimburse you $2,593.33 in vet bills. Mm -hmm. is, are you referring to the attack? Yes. Why would she have to reimburse you for the vet bills for that attack? Because I feel she manipulated the situation. I'm looking at your texts. And here's the kind of thing I'm seeing. Here is Mr. Guzman. You know he has to start being over here more often. That's the only way he will get used to it. I know you and Natasha got attached, but you knew this day was bound to come. I know it's gonna be hard to let go, but you're gonna have to. Your answers, it's not even about the attachment, it's more about safety and quality of life. Max isn't safe with Dice. He wasn't a year and a half ago when Dice attacked him and he's even less safe now. Mr. Guzman's response, that's a call for me to make as his rightful owner. I know what to look out for. I know what happened that day. It will never happen again. And I guarantee you can't keep my dog away from me because of it. That's the thing. After all this time, technically, you're not his owner, at least legally. Says who? The possession is nine-tenths of the law. No, yard. that's just something you heard in a cartoon. That's not true. I don't know what that means. But, you know, that's his property. The ironic part is that you're not coming in here suing for Maxie back because I think you figured it out that maybe Maxie is better there. I agree. And welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here in front of the TMZ Hollywood tour bus. Question is, guys, um, is this defendant allowed to dog nap, if you will, the Shih Tzu to protect the Shih Tzu from the pit bull? No. Oh, so considered, why? <laughs> why, pray tell? because it's still dog napping. Well, well, I mean. Yeah, but it's dog napping, but it's also to protect the dog, right? I mean, that if you believe her. Yeah, I mean, I feel like he could have notified the owner a little bit more, if possible, give him some notification that he was taking it. Well, dog. but the, uh, they clearly had an impasse here. What do you say? Technically, no, but I would have done it. I would have taken the dog. Wow, what a militant there. 
Oh, wow. Good. Protect the dog. <laughs> okay, got your point. There are, there are other options, but we'll talk about them. Going inside the courtroom. So what he wants is for you to acknowledge that you stole his property and pay for it. I didn't steal his property, But you Anna. did, honey, you well, did. Well, not intentionally. Well, I you did. It's so it intentional. It's really intentional. And the minute when you decide, when you know you're supposed to give the dog back when he asks for it, and you decide that you're not gonna because you're a better home for the dog, you know, that's you taking someone's property because you think the property's better off with you. I don't care if it's like nice. I don't care if it's good to maxi. We don't, this is not a child. We don't have custody issue here. We don't sit around asking Maxie, where are you happy with? We don't put Maxi in the middle. We don't put Maxi in the middle and say, come Maxi, come Maxi, and see who Maxi goes to. That's not how this is done. A dog is property. And you took his property and won't return it. Yeah. And so now the man wants to be recompensed. His choice of a mouse is kind of interesting. He wants you to pay the uh, attack fee, basically the surgery, um, because in his mind, well, I paid it, and I would have had a dog now, and now I don't. So what was the point of my paying it? I don't know what he's saying, because I know he wouldn't have let, he's I too good a guy to let Maxi die. Um, so he would have paid it anyway. Yeah, what were you going to say? No, I said I agree with you. I right. Use, I use my Dominican my, my trip money yo to pay for the dog. I went out to the Dominican Republic with three hundred dollars instead of three thousand. Did she pay for stuff for you? No. Okay. In the Dominican so had Republic? you live in the Dominican no. Republic with three hundred dollars? Oh, uh, everything was all inclusive. Oh. Yes, I was drunk completely. You were drunk. <laughs> Completely. Just a three hundred. From the time I got off the plane, well, no, the time I got on the plane to the time we got off the plane. When did you guys stop being friends? When this happened with the dog, October. or before that? Yeah. October. So it's really when this happened with the dog. Yeah, that that's what destroyed friends? our friendship. All right. And what's the five hundred and twenty for grooming for thirteen months? Well, what's for that? the whole time that the dog was actually in her possession, I paid for that grooming. Is that true? The groomer came a few times, but it, it wasn't 13 times. She came every month, once a month. So, and that makes you think it's your dog when he's paying for the dog? The dog has only been groomed like sporadically because the groomer is hard to get a hold of. So do you have uh, proof of what you paid? No, because right. it, her cousin's the groomer. <laughs> <laughs> is that accurate? You have a hard time getting a hold of your cousin, honey? Well, she's not. She's like, you know, like the street cousin. You know, like we've been around <laughs> each other. <laughs> She's not my cousin, cousin. Yeah, we're like street cousins because, you know, we, we're light skinned and, you know, we grew up together. So That's it? You've That's got a belly button? I've got a belly button. That's it. You know? like we've been around each other to where we're like family. Uh, everybody, just, you know. oh, everybody just stop, just stop. Right, like Ms. Damien, yes, you can't steal the guy's property. He doesn't want, because of the unique situation that we're talking about, rather than order you to return the property, I am gonna order you to compensate him. Not the amount of the surgery from the attack from his own pit bull, but I am gonna order you to recompense him the four, $520 in grooming, plus another $800 for the cost of the dog to the tune of $1,320 verdict for the plaintiff. It's not okay. You can't just keep the guy's dog and not have a consequence. Good luck. All right, that was some case. What, what's, your, what's your reaction to this outcome here? You'll be, you'll be paying. Uh, well, you know what? As long as Max is good, it's, that's all that matters. I would have bought the dog off of him. It wasn't a problem, but $3,000, that's a little steep for a five-year-old Shih Tzu. Okay. Yeah, you two have a funny attitude about the whole thing. It's like you're friends, you're kind of smiling, well, it's a little bit of a goof. Is the it... thing is, is at the end of the day, we were really close friends, you know? And the thing is, is, you know, there's no hard feelings with me. At the end of the day, we were really good friends. The dog is safe. Max stays with me. It's all good. All good. Like, and I have you, no hard feelings. If he you, doesn't have any hard feelings, I don't You care more about the dog or about the people in this I case? mean, I care about the friendship. Like, the whole time mm -hmm. I kept telling him, like, you know, the worst part about this is that, you know, there's a strain. We're literally, mm -hmm. like, six feet away from each okay. other door-wise. All right. All right, good luck with Max. All right, come on in here. And Are you two still friends or what? Send me. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're still neighbors. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I don't know about a friendship. I mean, I think it kind of got destroyed over this whole situation of a dog because it's, it's more about trust. And Like, if I can't to entrust you with doing me a favor, then how can I trust you with anything else? You are all dogged up. You are, like, living through your dogs. Oh, uh, yeah. Right? Yeah, that's what happens when we ain't got no kids. Yeah. What do you like better, dogs or people? Uh, dogs. They're more loyal. Bobby? Okay, Kurt, a couple of things. One, uh, you can't sue to get property back generally in small claims court. Two, um, if you really have an issue like this, sir, 
What you can do is you call animal control, you file a complaint, and they'll come out and protect the dog.